has turned 26 today. Congratulations, Dave. We love you up here on the tower. Chris Caputo from Lazy Power Sports is in the house, too, ladies and gentlemen. All kinds of specials going on uh, down there at Performance Alley, but right now it's the Pro Am Runabout Stock Class, and it, it looks like we may be. Uh, oh, man, we got a heartbreaker here. It's Cody oh. Hoppins on that 112. It's got a boat that is not running. And that is a heartbreaker for him. Is it not running? I, I can't believe that. Well, I, I see it down there. Cody Hawkins out of Melbourne, well, Florida. I don't see Cody down there. Nope. He walked off. Yeah, you can oh, tell he was just oh. devastated. Wow. Yeah, that's frustrating. Tough break for Hawkins. Hawkins took a fourth in the first moto and definitely had a shot at the overall title here. And here we go. Your leader's getting ready to come down the front straight away, ladies and gentlemen. And right. number 20 again. That's Burby. That's his Khalid Burby for Robbie in uh, the lead and sponsored by Pro Rider. He was your winner for the first moto. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, you know what the, the amazing uh, story here is in this Pro Am Runabout stock class is that uh, Burby had to make it in and he was the last one to make it in on the LCQ, Don. That's exactly right. Miss Bowie's earlier was uh, unable to had to do it from the hard way. So the second place rider right now is Minoru Kiyonomori. And Minoru finished fourth in uh, the first moto. We're a little early to do a whole bunch of um, moto math here. But Derek Francis is in third. And he finished third in the first moto. Well, we're going to be looking for Skinny Moe out there. So yeah, happen. Skinny Moe on boat number 66. Watch that kid. I'm sure that Kuwaiti's on the move. Yeah, I think so, too. Finished second in the first moto. We're watching Pro-Am Runabout Stock. And this is moto number two. We will be crowning a champion after this. All righty, once again, uh, your leader. Getting ready to come down the front straightaway as he uh, hangs out over here on the left-hand side of the course. Drops down, working left to right in front of you. Riding for Pro Rider R&D Jet Trim and Reba Motorsports, Khalid Burby. Uh-oh, Minoru's got a ton of company now. That's Francis Whoa. coming in doing a 15 feet wide move. Yeah, let me just say this. Uh, Francis ends up uh, winning the U.S. National Championship, the last race of the season in Charleston at the IJSP National. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, here comes your leader, the Eagle, Eric Francis, straight out of West Palm Beach, Florida, sponsored by Dave's Auto Body and uh, Kawasaki Motor Corporation. That's so awesome. Noru Kanamori uh, also hunting me for a podium and then Mohammed Barati or Skinny Mo third. And then you got the, the 111 back there in the fourth spot. That's Rashad Golf, the uh, Kimanian champion. Yeah, that you've been talking about. Vote number four is Ian Tosca. Francis, uh, after a great national win, he's just been really carrying that momentum throughout the week. As he runs it out on this back stretch, you can see Minoru Kanamori gaining on him just a bit. But uh, that's not probably going to be enough. Oh, excuse me. You're right. So we've got him in the split section. Actually, he's already in the split section. That's right, Francis coming around the checkered flag out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Eagle has landed! Eric Francis! Oh, he is so happy. You know what? I know he's thanking God right now, but you know what? If there's one person that he would like to thank, he's sitting right there in the stands. His father, Ed Francis, who has been with him all the way. And it's been a long time coming. That is so awesome. Skinny Mo also pulling off a great podium finish, as well as uh, Minoru Kanamori. So that's going to be.